My name is Benny Mardonis. I've been in the music business professionally for 42 years. Uh, I grew up in a small town, dirt poor, had nothing. And by the time I was like seven, eight years old, I saw Elvis Presley on the Ed Sullivan Show. And I thought, man, that looks like a lot of fun, you know? And I remember I said to my mother, Mom, does he make a lot of money? And she said, oh, baby, he just bought his mother a $100,000 mansion in Memphis. I said, really? That's what I'm going to do. When the light. OK, you remember that song. And they said, what key do you do it in? And once again, I said, I don't know, man. Just do it in any key. So they said, no, no problem. So about halfway through the next set, they called me up. And I did Stand By Me. And when I finished, the whole place gave me a standing ovation and was screaming. The next thing I know, I hear a voice that said, do you play piano? And I turned around and it was Richie Havens, one of the biggest stars at the time in the world. And uh, he introduced himself and I was in, in awe of him. And he said, uh, do you play an instrument? I said, no, but I, I, I can learn how to play piano. He said, well, how long would it, learn it take you to learn six songs? I said, I'll learn how to play piano in a couple months. He said, well, you got two weeks. I said, what? He said, you got two weeks to learn six songs. I'd like to have you open for me on tour. I couldn't believe it. It was like God just blessing me, man. You know? And by 1983, 1984, I had lost touch with reality. I was a drug addict. My life came to a stop, my professional life. And I went through, I, had a, I made a million dollars, I spent a million dollars. I used to have a limo sitting out of my, right in front of my building 24 hours a day in case I needed to go somewhere. I had people around me, they always wanted money. I was passing out money because money just kept coming in. But it became a curse in my life. And by 1985, I was ready to put a gun to my head because I realized I had lost everything. I had everything. I had fame, fortune, large fan base around the country. Everybody loved Into the Night. And I blew it all. And I just didn't want to live anymore. And I remember many nights taking a gun and putting it into my mouth and begging God to give me the courage to pull the trigger. And that courage never came. And I thank God because of that. I said, Tommy, did you see my hand shake? He goes, yeah, I saw that. I said, something's wrong, man. I feel like something's wrong. He said, you're tired. You've been on tour. You're, you're just exhausted. Don't worry about it. But I knew it was something. And I saw a doctor. And he ran some tests. And he, they misdiagnosed me. He said, you have an essential tremor. And he gave me something called Enderol. And I took it, and it stopped the shaking for one day. But I thought it, it cured me. You know, like, this, I take this pill. I don't have anything to worry about. Well, after two days, the, the hand tremored a little bit, even after taking the medicine. And I just knew something wasn't right. So I went to a specialist and he did some tests and he said to me, you have Parkinson's disease. And it took my breath away because I thought it was a death sentence. And I said, is there a cure? He goes, I'm sorry, there is no cure. I could hardly drive home. I was like, I was like in, in a state of shock now I'm going to die from an incurable disease called Parkinson's. Great. It's going to stop. You know, it's, I, can, I usually write on piano and I can't play piano anymore because of the tremors. So I'm fighting a lot of battles on a lot of fronts. But when I have people like Dr. Lou and Joel Diamond in my life and my wife Jane, I'm ready for anything God throws my way. I can make it. So I'm still in the fight.